Hey guys, it's David for TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to use T-Mobile on your Moto X. Now essentially what we're going to do here is take an AT&T Moto X and then unlock it so that it accepts a T-Mobile SIM card. Um, the benefits of this, well, you don't have to wait for T-Mobile to get the device, which seems to be taking forever. Um, other than that, the LTE works, all of the features work. It, works just fine. I've even tested it, posted up some of the uh, speed tests as well. So you can see that everything like that is working just fine. The downside, now that would be that you have to go out and actually buy the AT&T phone, which means you have to pay for it full price, maybe find it on Craigslist used, that kind of a way of purchasing the phone, as opposed to if you bought it directly from T-Mobile, you could do that kind of uh, payment pay as you go plan that they have. But if you were planning to buy the phone outright anyway, then this isn't a bad option. Okay, so first you have to buy the phone. So you can either do that by going on to Craigslist or eBay or any of those sort of things. Um, just make sure that it is an AT&T version and not a Verizon version as it won't accept the SIM card if it's Verizon. I'm gonna show you here how to kind of buy it straight from Moto uh, Maker. So you're just gonna head to Moto Maker like that. You're going to wait for it to load and click get started. Go through the whole customization process, add all your favorite things, blah, blah, blah. Hit review and checkout, checkout. And then you're gonna select AT&T here and select no contract, then checkout. Then you can either log in or continue as a guest. Put in all your shipping information, then your payment information, then review the order and send it out. Um, then you just have to wait for it to show up you might have to get like an AT&T prepaid SIM card to go in with the phone, um, or they might just send it to you by itself. Either way, just don't sign up for a contract when you do this and pay the full price, which is not that right there. Um, clearly I've added too many to my cart, um, but it is that right there. Okay, then once your phone arrives and you've set it up, you're going to pull down the notification and go into settings. Then you're going to go to about phone and status and scroll all the way down and grab your IMEI. Uh, you're going to write that down. Then you're going to take that IMEI and either you're going to Google for an unlock code provider, um, which you can do, or buy one directly from us. Uh, we're selling them at the moment. Um, either way, you need the IMEI, you need to put that in with no spaces usually, and the email uh, that you'd like the unlock code to get sent to. Now the unlock code does take about two to three days to generate. If it takes longer than three days, please email whoever you bought it from. That includes us. Um, for us, you can use the contact us form somewhere on the site um, or click on contact us up here. Now, once you get the code, um, which will arrive by email, so make sure that you make this email the right one you're going to take out the SIM card, if there is one in your device. Then you're gonna put in your unauthorized SIM. In this case, it's T-Mobile. Pop that in the device. And on the screen, you'll be prompted uh, to enter your unlock code. Uh, it'll literally just pop up right here and say, please enter unlock code. You'll enter in the first of the two codes that we either sent you or follow your instructions for whoever you bought the codes from. Um, it's usually a very short code for Motorola. You're going to just push that in and hit OK. Once you do, you'll see T-Mobile up here at the top if it's been successfully entered. And then the next thing to do is to set up the internet settings. So we're gonna go into settings, settings, more, mobile networks, access point names, and you'll see some possibly already in here. If you don't though, you're gonna tap those three dots, hit new IPN, and then you're gonna fill out all of these fields with the information provided at the link underneath this video on our site. Um, that'll take you to our internet MMS settings repository. Just look for your carrier under your country. Um, in this case, you'd be looking under United States for T-Mobile. And then filling in all of these, uh, any that you don't see, just leave blank. 
And then at the very end, tap and save. Once that's set and you see the blue dot, you can hit home, pull down notification, tap airplane mode. Tap airplane mode again to turn it back on. And you should see the 4G LTE, depending on your coverage in your area, will light up. And then you can just go to our web page. to make sure that it works. Okay, then just to kind of show you what's going on, to make sure we're getting LTE speeds, we're gonna do a speed test. Tap again, test. Okay, and there you go, that's about right for my area. Um, AT&T on LTE does about the same here as well. So you're all set. Enjoy.